Hi, I'm George Woodbury from College of the Sequoias in Visalia, California, and in this video we'll continue to solve equations by using U substitutions. In particular, I'm going to show you how to use the substitution U equals X to the one-half power. Now we're going to be looking for equations of this form, X plus uh, 6X to the one-half power minus 40 equals zero where we have one term containing the variable x, a second term containing x to the one-half power, and then a constant term. By the way, we're going to see that x to the one-half can be converted into an equation we've already seen. Okay. So here's the problem. x minus 8x to the one-half minus 48 equals zero. As I mentioned, we're going to let u equal x to the one-half power. Will that u be the variable part of the term that has the smallest exponent, so x to the one-half. Now u squared is the same as x to the one-half squared, and we know when we raise something like this to a power, we multiply those exponents. One-half times two is one, so u squared is the same as x. That tells me I can replace x by u squared, replace x to the one-half by u, and now I have a quadratic equation. Uh, this one factors, so it's u plus 4 times u minus 12 equals 0. If u plus 4 is equal to 0, u is negative 4. If u minus 12 is equal to 0, and we add 12 to both sides, we find that u is equal to 12. Now we'll replace u by x to the 1 half, and we'll solve that. So first I have x to the 1 half equals negative 4. Um, we may not be able to see this yet, but this is going to lead to an extraneous solution. When I square both sides, to get, take care of the one-half power, negative four squared is 16. Um, when I come back to check that one, and let me check that one first, if I put in 16 for x, I have 16 minus eight times 16 to the one-half power minus 48, and I want to see if that equals zero. Uh, 16 to the one-half power is the same as the square root of 16, so that's the same as 4. 16 minus 8 times 4 minus 48. 16 minus 32 minus 48 it does not equal 0. It actually equals negative 64. So this solution doesn't check. When we had this line, we could have stopped right here because x to the 1 half is the same as the square root of x the square root of x cannot equal a negative number. So we knew that this was not going to lead us to a solution. Uh, let's try the other one. x to the 1 half equals 12. Square both sides to get rid of the 1 half power. And I have x equals 144. This solution does check. So our solution set 100, contains the number 144. All right, so since I mentioned that x to the 1 half is really the same as the square root of x, um, we can go ahead and change the equation first, if we wish, and work with the same u substitution we made before. u equals the square root of x. u squared is the same as x. So I have u squared minus 9u plus 20 equals 0. Factor u minus 4, u minus 5. Two numbers that multiplied to 20 but added to negative 9. Break it up. u minus 4 equals 0, or u minus 5 equals 0. Our two solutions so far are u equals 4 and u equals 5. Put the square root of x back in for u. So square root of x equals 4 square both sides, x equals 16 is my first solution. 
uh, for the other branch, square root of x equals 5, square both sides, and my other solution is x equals 25. And you can check, but both of these do work. So again, if you see x to the 1 half, you could make either of these two substitutions. They are equivalent. Whichever you're more comfortable working with. If you have any questions or comments on this video, or if you have a request for a video that I can put together for you on YouTube, you can reach me through the contact page on my website, and that address is georgewoodbury.com. Thanks for watching. Good luck.